Good afternoon, good evening, good morning. This is the Wix Online meeting number 76, getting to the middle of August, which of course you know what that means. And if you don't, well, we'll talk about it in a little bit. As always, these meetings are recorded for those people that aren't able to be here right now with us. Um, we have a pretty simple agenda. We're doing triage. I should have tossed on here we're going to do triage of Wix 3.10 issues, um, but since there aren't many of them, you know, we're doing that. Um, of course, the big thing we're doing right now is Wix 3.10 ships this month or anytime soon, all that kind of good stuff. Um, so we will talk about that, I'm sure, as we talk about the the issues that are remaining, because um, there are a few. And then we'll open the floor to questions, comments, things people want to talk about, just like we always do. Um, so I guess we move on to the next thing. Triage. Ready, Bob? I am ready. All right. Five issues, but a number of them, I think, are reopens. They are. Yeah, so, oh, this looks like a reopen of a reopen of a reopen. Pretty much. But I cannot see Wix installer list as one of the solutions when creating a new project. 2015 Community Edition and Windows 3.10 appears. I see Wix list and programs features. Uh, this should go to, yeah, how about we redirect Sid Barrett to the mailing list so they can go talk about it, about look at his log files and figure out what's going on there. Yeah, I was going to ask if... Uh I didn't recall at the top of my head whether Wix 4 had all the uh, current support. I actually would not be surprised if it does not have all the support that Wix 3.10 has yet. Yeah, I thought I got most of it, but I don't know that I got like all the votive bits as well. So anyway, we so it's entirely possible. Entirely possible it's not there, but it won't be in this bug because this bug is about something else. Right. Was this bug resolved? Yes. No. no. Still didn't take that pull request. Darius Cube cannot be open. All right. Looking at issue whatever. Sorry, this is a repeat of last week. Of this issue, I would say it is a bug. Well, well yeah, clearly there's a bug somewhere. And you have your mouse cursor. The harvest type is not found in heat extensions. Well, that's not the same thing. Because this is about right. light running from the cache location. True. I understand about shadow copying when the environment causes a malfunction. Yes. With one exception. There are no configs for shadow copying, with one exception. Instead, it's fully controlled by app domain setup. I don't understand why we're running from the cache. Are we doing something to run from the shadow cache? I don't think so. No, and even even through MS Build, we're not creating another app domain, right? That's as far as I know. All right. MS Build, uh, right? Let's. Uh, fine. Let's let's open this to fine. Provide log files on a share and of that show this error in context, and maybe we'll see something. Yeah, yeah, it's worth a shot. Because I don't know what's causing this to happen. All right, let me do that. Um, oh, shoot. I was so tied up in everything else, I forgot to do this. Ah. We have to leave this open. I need to do this before. Should I assign it to you? No, it's assigned to you. No, let's leave it here. I will get it. I'm sorry. Okay. I, totally, I just need to go look at the code for like a half hour. I just haven't done that. I need to go do that. I had a to-do list open that got closed when my machine restarted, and I totally spaced everything in it, which is why I have a to-do list. I just have to get them in a more persistent place. Um, heat fails when interpreting path and intuited target files. Right, so we got more information here, right? This is a yeah, this one looks partially 2015. They changed the tools version to a variable, which I didn't know you could even do. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm actually kind of surprised MS Build works with that. Um, yes, but it doesn't surprise me that heat doesn't, given the way that it loads projects and all this kind of stuff. So right. I say we put it in 3x and go, yeah, that's busted in heat, and fixing the product thing to do it, someone could totally do that. I agree. Problems. Poor design. Um, I'm glad Mike's here. I assume Mike's here. He's all not typey type. He's like dodging. He's like, yeah, bug. Um, 
<laughs> we got all caps too. Mike was excited. Um, I'm pretty sure this came from Mike, which means we. Yeah, it's all Mike's fault. I had nothing to do with it. Oh, was this you? I don't know. It was one of you two, probably. I think it was both of us, actually. <laughs> That's awesome. I knew you two were working on this. Um, I think he added one of the, the the extra parameters, and I added the other. <laughs> okay, awesome. So. Anyway, the net result is that I know, the reason we're showing about this is because we actually fixed this for a customer and Fire Giants, and both Bob and <laughs> Mike ended up working on this bug <laughs> that we hit with them where bad stuff is being logged to the log file, and so the goal is to say whether or not to log such stuff, namely the command line and the output, um, and the signature change on this function. And Phil is using this out of WCUtil, which I guess is reasonable. Or we name it differently. We, we have yeah, functions I, differently. We have we have several instances of this kind of thing where we add a function that you know retains the same signature and just calls um, you know a, a new function with the enhanced functionality. Right. So you know, pretty trivial to to fix this. Um, um, I, I'll, I'll take it unless Mike, you want to volunteer. Again, I think we're both 50% responsible, so, you know, I figure one of us should fix it. Rock, paper, scissors over the Internet. Um, um, if that only that worked, that would be so awesome. That would be really cool. Oh, come on, there's got to be. There's got to be an app on this line. So I could bring it up here. Right. Uh, <laughs> all right, cool. We're giving Mike. Mike's got it. Cool. That's all those bugs. All right. We'll call that 51%. <laughs> 51%. Yeah, that's awesome. You tag the lawn after him, so cool. Uh, so we'll get that fixed. And this is being opened. This I will look at, so just leave it open. Uh, the Dar Ice Cube, we're going to ask for log files. And this is a stays open and have that person send their log files to Wix users so that we can look at it and see if a, sh a new bug should be opened, which entirely is possible it should be a new bug. Right. Or just wait for us to finish the Wix the Wix 3.10 and bring all the code over to Wix 4 since we've been kind of lacking on doing that while we've been finishing Wix 3.10. Sad, sad but true. Well, you know, 3.10 is where it's at right now. Um, because it's going to be close to release because as we can see, there are only three issues left. Um, well, now there's four. Oh, well, yeah. Okay. All right, right. Now there's four. <laughs> Mike has one of them. So I have this one. I know what's going on here. I, I will have this. I was trying to decide how I wanted to implement this because we were talking about doing the new, fixing up the re, the website, and things like that, and I'm leaning more towards uh, I'm just right. going to fix this without tying to the website since I'm not exactly sure how long the website's going to take me to fix up. And yeah. nobody sent me pictures, which I asked for last week, which I actually asked for the week before, which means I'm probably going to have to go find pictures by myself, which is kind of a bummer, but we'll see. Um, and so anyway, net, net, net of all that is I will probably just write this in the smallest change and then appropriately redo it in the new thing, which should not be a whole lot of throwaway work. Good. That's my story. I'm sticking to it. All right. You're uh, up. This, this is my bug. Um, I actually have the change in place. However, uh, just as was the case in .NET 451 and .NET 452, currently the, the online EULA that is required to use the prereq BA in, in Wix standard BA when you have a managed BA, which Visual Studio does, um, <laughs> currently points to a 404 page. Oh. Uh, so, you know, not only small companies miss little things like this, even big companies, and even when certain people like me keep pinging people to make sure that the job gets done. Um, but that's neither here nor there. It's someplace else. Um, and for the moment, uh, I'm waffling about what to do. Um, I am leaning toward leaving that link in place so that .NET 4.6 can be a prereq for a managed BA. Um, I figure Microsoft shipped their prereq BA this way. Um, so awesome. it's hard to argue that, you know, we should be held to a higher standard, though <laughs> clearly we 
often hold ourselves to a higher standard. <laughs> um, oh, wow, I'm being really, like, snarky. That's awesome. Snarky today. Uh, yeah, yeah, well. We just have to make yeah. sure we send this link to this video to the right people. Yeah, right. Um, I, so I, I'm leaning in that direction uh, with the hope that it's something that they will fix sooner or later because, again, their current VA is is likewise broken. So I'm I'm hopeful that it will get fixed at some point. So I am leaning toward putting it in uh, to the the current package group, which is I, I'm all done with it. I was just kind of waiting on that EULA, but I think I'm going to push myself over the edge and and just uh, send the pull request shortly. All right. Cool. Yeah. Next. 4804. This is done. There's a pull request, oh, and I missed it. Um, actually, yeah, you've missed a couple because I have. I'm not getting have, notifications uh, then. Mm. Uh, yeah. Well, let's let's go over that sometime soon, and because there's actually a breaking change that you took into X4 uh, that I need in in 310 as well. The build's currently broken on oh. Dev 14 RTM. Oh yes, yes, yes. Okay. I I'm not getting. I thought it was awfully quiet, but I. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's just quiet out there. All right. Well, I'll have to go check that. Okay. So that'll, that'll answer that. Right. This will yep. come. So you know what? I'm just going to wait a little bit, and then both of these will be there, and it'll look like I just it all just happened. Sure. Sure. That'd be great. And then if I wait a little bit longer, Mike might even have this done. Who knows? Mike might have this done by the time we finish this meeting. Um, oh, see, now I'm tempted to go do it, but okay. I'll wait. No, no, no. You need to take notes so that we have yeah, no. notes of all this. All right. I think that's all our bugs which actually looks pretty good. So, as usual, I'm the one with left with most of the work left. All right, cool. Good on you, Rob. So, continuing. Questions, comments, things people are, want to talk about, going on, other such things. Wow, we got a lot of new people here today. Oh, no, it's just Sean and Jacob are both showing up with their last name first, and it was cutting off the rest of their name. Interesting. Um, so, anything? It's all quiet out there. So Wix 3.10, we're going to get these bugs in, get this stuff going. Um, again, I think Bob says he wanted to try to get, um, oh, yeah, you said 30 days after Visual Studio, which I thought was the 29th, but I think you reminded me it's the 20th. So I'm not sure we're going to make that if we're, we're going to do one more build, um, probably on Monday-ish, given that I'm going to yeah. be out for in a few days here. Um, right, right. Yeah, I, we should, yeah, we'll do one more build. Um it's possible, you know, if we do a build like next, yeah, like I said, next Monday, um, like I get our stuff in, um, your bug will not um, no, that doesn't, that doesn't affect the, the source, so that's a good thing. Um, so I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm thinking if we do a build with those fixes in it, uh, that might be it. I mean, that, that might be the RTM build. I, I want to call it an RC and do another, you know, another announcement. Uh, RC2. Yes. Yep. Um, get it out there because, you know, the final RC. Who, well, I never want to say that. <laughs> no, I'm good at doing that on my blog and then coming back and going, no, not just joking. Tempting fate. And, and the karmic paybacks are, are regularly pretty annoying. Someone has to. Um, so, yeah, if we do one more build, um, that might be the RTM, but it's at least one more RC. Uh, get it out there. We got, I think, pretty good feedback for the RC build. So I'm hoping that another RC will get uh, some attention likewise. Yep. Not a lot of changes in it either, so that'll be good. Yeah. yeah. Cool. All right. Um, John says he might take a look at that heat bug. Um, if we had a fix, I still think we'd probably take it 311, right, at this point? It wasn't breaking, so yeah, yeah, the, using that Visual Studio version as the... Yeah, using yeah. a variable like that is is weird enough, I would, yeah, say, yeah, right. that's... So, 311. We'll, we'll, we'll fix it, because it would be good, but, yeah, I don't want right. to try to sneak it in. And Jacob says he may have to reopen a bug or whatever, if, in case we didn't get something right, but that's all good, standard, good follow-up on things that are going on. So, other things that people want to talk about? Stuff going on, anything like that? No? no. Questions and comments. Yeah, we'll take comments, too. But only if they're in the form of a question. Um. <laughs> Sorry. It's bad. Yes. I, 
I saw somewhere on Twitter that they said Alex never should allow ten people in this, and none of them are answering in the form of a question. <laughs> and I was like, in reference to the the Republican <laughs> debate of ten people on stage and stuff, I was like, oh, that's pretty good. Could you imagine Jeopardy with ten people? I well, no, but I would watch a presidential debate like that. Ah, dude, where everybody had to answer in the form of a question. Absolutely. <laughs> Uh, all right. Uh, it doesn't look like anybody else has anything to talk about. And if we're talking about politics in a very tangential way, of which I don't care anything about, I think it's time for us to call it a day. Um, we're going to see an RC build shortly. I think that's probably the big thing to take away is that we'll see an RC bug not too long and we'll be ready to rock and roll. Cool? Sounds like a plan to me. All right. Well, all of you take it easy and uh, we'll see you next week. Later. Bye.